What's up guys, Chris here, back again with another video for you guys today. In tonight's video, I want to talk about how you guys can make coins during the Rule Breakers promo today on Friday. There's going to be a lot of nice market movements that you guys can do and make profit off of. So before we get into it, if you guys can just drop a like on the video and subscribe if you're new around here, that'd be absolutely fantastic. And if we can hit 100 likes on this video, that would be awesome as well. So the first part of your day, I would expect some panic selling, right? Because we have a new promo and based on Twitter, there hasn't really been that many leaks for this promo compared to the Road to Knockout teams, which is a little interesting. I know one of the guys that have been definitely leaked, and that is Usmani Dembele. Now, let me talk about Dembele really quickly for a lot of you guys, because we talked about on yesterday's video going into Division Rivals Awards that if there is leaks on Twitter, you will see some gold cards get panic bought. And that is what we saw with Dembele today. This card is 35,000 coins. Now, he went up a little bit. You know, right after awards, went to about, I believe, 38, 39. A little bit of profit there. Nothing too much, but there was profit. He then got leaked into the Rule Breakers team for today. So what people end up doing was they end up buying this card all the way up to 48,000 coins. He then went back down to 41, 40, and now he's back up to 46 and a half. What I would recommend for you guys is with a gold card like this, and as popular as he is, if you have him and you're making profit... I would take the safe route and sell before 6 p.m. on Friday. The reason why I would do that is because I would go and look at Dembele. Uh, not Dembele. I would go look at De Jong, right? This happens a lot this year where a lot of people invest before certain things happen. And what ends up happening is when that actual thing does happen, they drop in price because there's so many people ready to go with the card in their account, ready to sell it the second that specific thing happens. Like if a card is about to go out of packs, they wait till that moment and then they sell. And in fact, if you take a look at last week, remember I bought a De Jong, I think at like 111. I was able to sell it at 123 or 124 or something like that the day before or like right before 6 p.m. UK time on Friday. But if you take a look at him from Friday all onwards, he doesn't even hit 120 again. He didn't hit 120 once after that. And that just shows you that there might be a little bit more hype in a card before he actually does go out of packs. So just be careful with this Dembele. That's one of the ways that I would definitely keep an eye out with this market. Now, if he drops a lot Friday and Saturday, he could be an opportunity to pick up Saturday to sell on Sunday with the uh, FUD Champs rewards happening Sunday morning. Something I also want to talk about is uh, Muhammad Salah's gold card. And the reason why I talk about this gold card is because we made a lot of coins on Mane a couple weeks ago. We were able to buy Mane at 260,000 coins. We bought two of them. We flipped them back up at 290. The week before that, it was with Sun. We were able to buy Sun at 265. We went right back up to 288 later that day. The common trend, and there is a lot of tax that has to go within this, so you have to get a certain, you know, a certain number that works for your profit. But if you see this Mo Salah here, he's 360,000 coins. Let's take a look at yesterday. He was, you know, 368, pretty much 368, 369 all day. A little bit of drop-offs, but he does rebound in price because he's out of packs. If you look at on Wednesday, same thing over 360. If you see this guy getting panic sold tomorrow, because what people do when they panic sell for a promo, they don't really think. They don't really think of like, oh my god, this guy's out of packs. Why would I be panic selling a Mo Salah? when he's not going to get packed at all today. That doesn't make any sense. So what happens is when they see that price so low, they instantly go and buy back. And it also culminates with, you know, they see that some of these promo cards are just out of their reach. They go buy back their Mosala because, again, he has a lack of supply and he goes up really quickly. If you see this guy tomorrow, like 320, 330, right? Keep an eye out. This guy went from 310 last Friday, went all the way back up to 345 after a couple hours uh, after 6 p.m. UK time. So... Keep your eyes peeled for a card that is out of packs. This happened with Marquinhos as well. People were able to make profit on that. Now, another thing. I want to look at live cards today. That is one of the biggest things I think you guys should be looking at. Now, it comes with a little bit of risk. And the risk in this is that EA comes out with a player in the Rule Breakers team that hits the same position in the same league as one of these cards, whether it's in Road to the Knockout 2, some of the Team of the Weeks in the past, or Road to the Knockout Team 1. So you're just going to have to be careful with some of these cards, right? Now, if you see panic selling on these guys, which I fully expect you to to see, I would look to maybe pick some of these guys up. But you also have to keep in mind that there could be 
another La Liga right back that comes out with juiced up stats that could maybe hurt Jesus Navas. These cards are live though, so if there's no item that comes out that affects these guys' prices and you just seen them down because of just panic selling, look to pick some of these guys up. They'll have some of the quicker rises in my opinion today on the market look at some of the guys that have risen the most over the last couple of days what i would really pay attention to is this Lodi guy okay he's 145k but his you know graph has been all over the place because of the you know the price range update he was 137 yesterday or wednesday he went all the way up to 146 down again to 137 and now he's back up to 145 this guy's really popular. There's a lot of hype in this guy. This would be one of the cards that I would keep an eye on, especially if they don't release any left back from La Liga on the game today. Um, I would pay attention to your Brazilian links, right? Things that have been going up over the last two days. Um, another thing I would keep an eye on is some of these like informs that have risen. So like, I believe Phil Foden and also Gabriel Jesus today, they both went up in price because people... Are doing Bernardo Silva they're still going doing him so those links went up a lot today if you take a look at this uh, um, if you look at Wednesday he's like 74 K he goes all the way up to 85 down a little bit again and then he went all the way up to 87 yesterday keep your eyes peeled for any potential selling off on those cards today as well uh, another thing I want to keep your eyes or I want you guys to know about these roads the knockout cards is these guys have games next week right so these cards are more than likely going to rebound because people know that they are going to be having potential upgrades pretty damn soon. So they're going to buy into these guys before their games. And that's where I think you really see a nice rebound in these cards. And usually on Sundays and Mondays, the market is pretty healthy. So I don't see any reason why these Road to Knockout Team 2 guys or Team 1 guys can't rebound in price if there's no special card that gets released today on Friday. Another thing I want to keep an eye on, ones to watches. Not only because of their games this weekend... But because some of these guys have been rising ridiculous amounts recently. One example is this Tomori card. Now, what you guys can do is if these guys get padding sold, and I would expect if there is padding selling today, these guys get hit the worst. And the reason I say that is because there's so many people investing in these guys. If you take a look at this Tomori last Sunday, he was 45,000 coins. He's now almost doubled in price. He hit a peak earlier yesterday at 88,000. He is really expensive right now. And the reason why this guy is so high is because people are buying into him because of the five win, uh, you know, stipulation that if somebody wins five games out of 10, he will get a inform upgrade. So a lot of people are buying ahead of time with a card like this. Now, Milan play again this weekend, right? I don't know who their opponent is. I guess we can go take a look real quick. Uh, you know, Milan right now, uh, Milan schedule. Let's see who they play. They're playing Roma this week. That is a really big game. If they pull off a win, right, this guy's going to go absolutely fine because I believe they're on four wins. It's either three or four, but I believe it's four. This guy would absolutely fly up in price. So if you see any drop-offs on these type of cards, the ones that have risen the most over the last, like, day or two, please keep an eye out for them because those are the cards that a lot of people have been looking at. If they drop, you'll be able to buy some of them and hope, most likely see a rebound in them. Mama would be the same thing as well. He's got up like 8,000 coins. Uh, so that's what I'd be looking at. Another thing I'd be looking at today is the popular players. Now, what we saw last week on this market was just a total wipeout. Some cards did well. Some cards did go back up, like Akimi went up in price. Um, who else went up last week in price? Um, Kempembe, right? He went up again. Uh, there's certain cards that did go up. Marquinhos went up last week, right? Uh, Teo, I believe, went up a little bit. These type of cards, the ones that a lot of people are using right now, you will hopefully see a rebound today. It just really depends on the pack supply that we do get. Last week, we got 50,000 coin packs. We got five on each account. Let's see what type of pack supply they give out today, right? I might be staying away from gold today if they bring out like 100k packs or 50ks uh, again, or maybe waiting a little bit more this time, not buying in those first 15, 20 minutes like I did last week, because that obviously hurt the market a lot. And there was too many investors and a guy like Dembele got absolutely destroyed because of supply and because of investors. So look at the goals that have risen the most. Uh, you know, and I think that's a common trend I've been talking about over this video. The last like two days, if you see them rising a nice amount, keep your eyes out for those cards because it shows that people, you know, have demand uh, with them 
So that's what I'd be looking at. Another thing I'd be looking at as well today is your icons. Icons are going to be really good today. Once again, I always talk about icons have the links that most people don't have. So I would like pick and choose which ones though. I wouldn't just necessarily go out and buy any specific icon. I would look at the ones that are really meta and ones that people are using. So how do you go onto this market or how do you go on Fupin to see what cards people are using? Well, what you're going to do is you're going to go to players here on the top, PGP. Now, what you can do is you can play around with it, right? You can go PS4 if you want to and PS4, PS5 is the same thing. You can go version of the card. So I can go icon right here, go all. And then what you could do is you could just click games played and then it'll show you the most games played per icon. So the ones that have done the best, right? Laurent Blanc, right? If you see him dip, dropping in price, this Crespo, a lot of people like using him. John Franco Zola, a lot of people love this card. He's actually up so much over the last few weeks. This Hernandez, again, I don't understand the hype with this card. A lot of Mexican people probably are using this guy, though. There's a big Mexican community with FIFA. I wouldn't be surprised. That's one of the reasons why. And listen, he has good stats, too. Don't get me wrong. But it always seems like this card, every single FIFA over the last, like, three or four that I've noticed, has just, like, been so expensive uh, or has had so many games played on him. Nedved, another thing, right? Um, you know, Suker, Gorincha, right? I look at some of the Brazilian icons. An icon that, or like, look at some of the icons that are rare too, right? So maybe you're looking at like a baby Desai, right? A card that gets French links, we just gets a link to uh, the new content that came out today, right? Look at this guy right here. He fluctuates a lot. You know, I was able to buy one, or I should have bought one at 820 the other day. He went right back up to like 890. The guy does really nice on fluctuations. He's very rare. Uh, Carlos Alberto's baby card is another one that I'd be looking at. Block 89, that'd be another good one. So look at the icons that a lot of people are playing with and then capitalize on their drop-offs in and around 6 p.m. Speaking of icons or continuing with that thought, what you can do doing the pack supply today is go basic chem style, go to quality, and then what you're going to do is go until you, whatever your budget is. So maybe my budget's a million coins, right? I'm going to go up to a mil and I'm going to go all the way to the 59 minute trying to find icon prices now the biggest thing with icons is you have to know what they sell for in order to trade with them if you don't know what they sell for how are you going to know the buy price so keep an eye out you got to learn what these icons are selling for maybe do a little bit of um you know research just before you know 6 p.m content look at some graphs and see which cards have been rising last couple of days or been fluctuating a lot or that are really popular in this game and I would recommend doing this on the companion and the web app because you can get to the 59 minute very quickly. Another thing you guys could do really well today is bidding. Bidding on anything, right? Bidding on specials that are out of packs. Bidding on silvers, right? You could do as something as simple as this. Gold's common. Just that. Go to quality and then just search. And what you're going to do is you're going to look at any golds that are getting bids on them, right? Kata right there is 350 coins, right? On bid. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make the effort. I'm going to check, a, take a look what he's been selling for. Right now, he's selling for 500 coins. Now, I'm going to pick that up at 400. I'm going to resell it at 450, 500 because if I'm on a low budget, I can make coins on this card, right? And if you have like 7K, if you have 20K, if you have 50K, you are not in the business of trying to, you know, kind of, you're, you're not in the business of like, you know, I'm going to turn down making coins here. You have to make coins. You don't have a lot to begin with. If you have like 500k, a million, it's a little bit different. But you can just really make a lot of coins by bidding on non-rares. And not every non-rare is going to be 500 coins, by the way. There's going to be ones that are worth 800 to 1,000 that you can get on bids. Right? If you take a look at this four-star card right here, we were looking at this earlier on stream. And he was 800 coins at the time. Now, right now, he's currently valued at 700 so you would bid at 350 400 you would resell it back at 7 800 and this is something that a lot of people don't look at on the market during a promo because their attention is on other stuff the objectives the sbc card uh the new promo team right playing their foot champs games they're not really worried about bidding on non-rares they're not worried really worried about bidding on silver cards so keep your eyes out for that in terms of bidding today. Fodder would be a really good thing to bid on as well. You can make a lot of coins that way. And you can definitely club stock for potential other SPCs that could come out that can, you know, rise 84s, 85s, 86s once again. So those are really good ways to make coins today, in my opinion. I hope you guys stayed this far into the video because I think it's, you know, it's very valuable piece of information. 
One last thing I want you guys to learn about the team today is that first hour, we're going to have a lot of supply, right? We talked about it a little bit with the 50,000 coin packs potentially could be coming out. But not only that, we also have uh, save packs, marquee matchup packs that came out today, division rivals rewards, right? People have save packs. So what that might do is cards may be too cheap in that first 15 to 20 minutes of the promo being, you know, being on. So what you're going to do is, and this is something that's very difficult to pinpoint, right? This is risky trading, but this is a way you guys can make coins today. This part of the video is the riskiest amount of coins you are the riskiest methods you can do you know on friday but what what happened on road to the knockout team one was this ezak card just got too low to people he went from a hundred thousand coins in the first hour and he went all the way up to 190. there's a lot of coins that could be made with a method like this but you have to figure out how to pinpoint the low point and if i were you guys and we explained this on the last couple of videos but all you need to do is just start buying when everyone else starts buying. It's a little, it's not the lowest possible point, but you can make profit on it um, if you buy with everybody else. And you got to check the supply. You got to see, you know, how fast certain cards are selling. If people are holding a card up to a certain price, it's a very difficult method, but there is profit to be made in it. I would just look out for that with some of these rule breakers that come out today. Some of them might just be too cheap first hour. You can look to pick some of them up and then flip really quickly when they have that rebound. One last thing, these uh, rule breaker cards may get really low on Friday nighttime and some of them may rise on Saturday morning when EU wakes up. That's yet another risky trading method. But that's something you guys can do. If you see that a card is really low, if you think it's undervalued, why not try it? If, if you have like millions of coins, this is the type of trading you guys should be looking to do because I think even if you don't make coins on these cards, I think it's still a valuable piece of learning. I think every loss you take in this game, you will learn from that mistake and it won't happen again. So I think with like buying more cards, I think you'll learn the market more that way. So try it out. If you have a couple million coins, you know, Friday night time, they're going to probably peak sometime on the first couple hours. They're then going to drop back down and they're going to hit that low point until they get really rare and then they start rising when people wake up early Saturday morning. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. There was a lot of things that I had to cover there. I hope you guys came all the way to this part of the video. If you did, drop a like. And most importantly, subscribe if you're new around here. And I'll talk to you guys in tomorrow night's video. Peace.